Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? This is Shawana Boyer. Hope you're having a great day like I am. I wanted to come on briefly, just do a little real estate chit chat. Some of the things that I experienced being a realtor within these six months. Yes, I've had some great days and I had some days when I was just like, really? You're really going to do me like that? <laughs> so we're going to get right on into it. So one of the reasons why we asked for a pre-approval letter, pre-approval, and I must pause. If you do not have a pre-approval letter, do not let, um, allow that to stop you. I have business relationships with a few lenders who I can direct you over to that can get you pre-approved so we can start touring these homes that you have been looking at on my website or um, via the MLS system that probably I have sent you or another, um, or you just seen it on like Zillow, realtor.com. Now, if you go to zillow.com or realtor.com, all you have to do is send me the, um, that particular address and I can retrieve that information in our MLS system to see if it's still active on the market before we go to showing. So let me just dive right into it. This pre-approval ladder, it's going to allow us to build this relationship with each other. And typically when you're working with a realtor who is reliable as myself, um, that's going to be there for you. That's an, you know, who is a negotiator as well as who's going to be the executor that who's going to work for you quickly. So when you hire me, those are three things that um, you're going to get with me. I'm reliable, I'm a negotiator, as well as I'm an executor. So whatever thing I touch, it's going to turn to sold. Or you're going to get exactly what your property is worth a little bit more. You know, you're going to get your asking price if you're selling um, your home. So let me go back to the pre-approval because this is a touching situation um, that happened this, this week. You all know we work in upfront so this is probably one of the one of the professions where we get paid on the back end and it's 30 45 days out does that make sense we're not asking for gas money most of us aren't but we should be compensated for uh, we're not asking for you to pay back any of the our money that we that we're going to spend of course into marketing your home going out to these homes, um, providing these touring, excuse me, these tours for you. But I say that to say this, if we're gonna put all this work in for you in advance, please follow through, provide the information to the lender, communicate with your realtor, whatever it is, Either I'm communicating with you and I need information back, either the lender is communicating with you and they need information back. Please follow up in a timely manner. Because if a house is on the market, not knowing how many offers the uh, you know the listing agent has, and you want to put it put in the offer for the home, we want to make sure we go in, you know, being competitive. We want to present and negotiate the right things so we can have the winning deal. Does that make sense? But I need for you guys just to follow through with your realtor. If your realtor has put in an offer for you, we got everything that you ask, then you just ghost? What is that? I mean, we haven't really bought anything to have buyer's remorse, but I know some of you guys may have cold feet. Just communicate back. That's all we ask. Just communicate back with us. Shawana, I really, truly appreciate you helping me out, showing me 20 properties, literally. <laughs> but unfortunately, we decided not to go with this deal. Something came up or we just going to put it on pause in its entirety right now. It's nothing hard to do that. That is, that, that is probably the most, 
just one of the best things that you can do, just communicate with your realtor. I say that to say, I experienced that. I did. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna carry on too much because I don't wanna spill too much information. But no, when I work, when you come to me, I don't know if they was afraid because I work kind of, you know, I work smoothly, but I work quickly to make sure the offer is submitted in a timely manner and that this listing agent is going to present it to her sellers and hopes we're going to come back and get our offer accepted. That's just how I work. No offense. That's just how I work. I'm not a procrastinator. I'm not going to beat Rhonda Bush and I will return your calls, your texts, your emails within 24 hours hours that's just who i am if not two to three hours i just work like that and i value my work um ethic and i hope you value and respect my time as well so with that being said i would not show any other properties but this i had a pre-approval letter not this one i had proof of funds because it was paying all cash so when you have proof of funds and a pre-approval letter is totally different. The proof of funds for those people who are looking to purchase with cash. Um, so they don't need a pre-approval letter. You quite naturally need proof of funds and a pre-approval letter when um, you go in the traditional way, going through a lender. But yeah, um, that pre-approval letter is gonna allow us to get in our car, go out, open up these doors so you can look at this property that you desire and hopefully to purchase. So with that being said, I appreciate everyone for tuning in. That's my little real estate chit chat for the week. Some of the things that I experienced along the way. Drop in the comment, if you're a new agent, what have you experienced? What um, Name a time that was most challenging for you and what did you do to solve that situation what i did in this particular situation i just i'm just letting it go let go and let god if it's for me it's for me i'm praying that all is well with the um individuals in question but yeah have you ever faced some tough times like this talk with me chat drop it in the comments and i look forward to reading your comments remember to tag like and share this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you are in the market of buying, selling, or investing, I hope to earn your business. Make it a great day. I'm Shawana Boyer.